Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Fred Tor and in this video we're going to discuss a free to play brand new sort of PS4 game called Genesis. Now I say sort of because it came out last month in August or I think it was about the 12th of August. So yeah, what is Genesis? What's a MOBA? That's what this is. It's a MOBA. Pretty cool kind of game, I'll explain. So a MOBA or M-O-B-A is Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. I have never played a MOBA before so I felt like Genesis would be a good way to experience this kind of game for the first time. Now MOBAs have been around a long time but primarily only on PC. There are very few actual MOBAs on console. MOBAs are very tactical therefore it works with greater depth with mouse and keyboard and is much more difficult with a controller. So to put a MOBA game in layman's terms, there are two teams of five players. Each player controls a single character and normally this is through a bird's eye view. You get dropped into a map widely called a top-down map and each team has a base. The objective is to destroy the opposing team's base and to do so you must destroy the main building. All the while within the map there are computer controlled units that spawn periodically that march against the opposing team along set paths within the top-down map. Each team also have turrets that protect opposing players from destroying the main structure. Now these turrets can of course be destroyed. Ultimately the main goal is to destroy your opponent's base in order to win the match. Now the, the first ever MOBA is widely accepted to be Eon Strife. This was a custom map or, or mode that was part of Starcraft. Now this mode which obviously now we know as MOBA very quickly became huge and very very popular. Now currently the most popular esports game is a MOBA which is League of Legends and of course we all also know Dota 2 which is extremely popular as well. So typically speaking a MOBA such as League of Legends and Dota 2 and so on and so forth always has a good selection of characters to choose from. These can be known as units, heroes, gods or legends and each character will boast their own individual powers and abilities, given the game diversity and variety when you compete. There are no shadows where I walk. So now we get to Genesis, which is basically the very first actual MOBA game for the console, for the PS4. It's a simple to play, straight to the point console MOBA. Totally made for controllers. Well at least on PS4. The game is available on PC as well. But is it any good? Let's go find out. So I'm here to tell you that yes, but also not really. When I started the game for the first time I was both curious but also a little bit worried that I didn't know because I didn't know what to expect and I did hope it would be easy to pick up and learn and it absolutely was. It was smooth, easy to understand. You basically very quickly realize the objective and the gameplay is very simple. The controls are nice and smooth and Genesis offers a campaign mode where you can learn how to play without the pressure of performing when you're playing online against other people. So you take on AI control teams in a five versus five mode which against the computer you fight AI waves or bosses as you play through the story. All the while you can match make as well for every mission and every mode which helps complete the missions quicker and more efficiently as well. It allows you to learn quicker how to play as a team so that you're ready to go online. When you do jump into the online 5v5 it does play a little differently as human teams are much more difficult to play against and it can be a little bit frustrating at first as it does make you feel quite underpowered when you're first starting out and you get matched against players that clearly have quite a bit more experience than you. 
In any case, the game gives you a total of 27 heroes to choose from, but you only actually get about five to start with. You'll have to play through to be able to unlock the other characters, or you could just drop a ton of cash and just buy them. But we'll get to that in a bit. As I said, you will have to grind, and oh my god, is it grindy. So, so the game's very smooth. Uh, I, I feel like it's very important to mention that it does run beautifully. On the top right corner of your screen, it shows the frames per second and the ping. Now, mine's never really dropped below 59 frames per second. And even though it's online connected, I have not had any issues whatsoever. It has a very stable connection and also just a quick observation on the graphics, they're very good. No complaints there as well. Beautiful graphics, s runs very smooth. Just perfect in that department. So all things considered, the game is great. It's totally free, so you just download it into your PS4, install it, start playing. Very simple. It's very fun, it's smooth, it's very stable, it's easy to learn. What more could we want, right? It's a perfect way to experience a MOBA and that is very true. But there are some flaws that do start to show. So as you start to get better and better and more understanding about all the bits and pieces within the game, and by the way this will happen within about six to ten hours in if you're a brand new player, give or take, the game really starts to get just a little bit on your nerves. You want to be stronger and better but you can't. You have to grind endlessly the campaign missions in order to be able to obtain stronger characters and weapons and special abilities. You need shards and different materials in order to upgrade your gear sets. But the game gives you very little of these materials through just playing. It's very annoying. And out of frustration, your mind quickly becomes open to just using a little bit of real money to buy these materials and these characters and these skins and these weapons and these shards. Basically, Genesis is like brilliant at making you feel that way so that you spend your money on it. It's very clever. At the end of the day, I'm a very casual gamer. I've got kids, I've got a full-time job, and I don't tend to play games like these. So it is most certainly quite sad to see that this is what today's game developers resort to. Some sort of modern day gaming loot casino. But you can't win any money back. It's really bad. You can so easily spend hundreds because you just want to have all the items. And the game purposely frustrates the player. So you break and go buy these items. I really think it's awful, but this is what gaming is these days. At the end of it all, as a pure and simple game, Genesis is pretty awesome. It's a great way to introduce new players to the MOBA genre. It's easy and really addictive. It has a winning formula. However, the monetization tactics used in Genesis are appalling, so frustrating. I can't and will never support any company that applies this type of system. It's inducing gambling with loot crates. A lot of players are very young, too young, to be targeted by these methods. And it really could create a quite awful problem with this generation when it comes to gambling and addiction. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for supporting any developer that offers a free game through buying its in-game items when it's done with ethics, when it's not a pay-to-win type thing. Kind of like Warframe, although obviously not perfect, but it's on the right path. So, if you've never played a MOBA, by all means, give this a good try. But for goodness sake, do not spend your hard-earned money, please. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.